Today, I want to help you unleash the power of social media marketing for your gym. I keep hearing over and over again that Facebook ads are not working as well. They are super expensive. People are in highly competitive areas or they just produced shitty tire kicker leads. And this is why it's important to also have a social media presence, whether this is in lieu of paid ads or in conjunction with paid ads. Now, influencer marketing is nothing new. Brands have been using celebrities for decades to endorse product, but influencer marketing is very big right now because people will buy from those they know, like, and trust. It gives a product or a service more credibility when there is a person behind it that we, again, know, like, and trust. So it's really important that you think about this with your social media marketing. Who are you and who is your brand? Whether you're going to be the face of your business or you just need to establish who your brand or gym is, you need to think about what is your unique personality? Why would someone relate to you? Who's your tribe? Are you someone who is really funny? Is this a place where you're going to laugh? Is this a really competitive atmosphere? Is this an atmosphere where I'm gonna push beyond my limits? Is this a atmosphere of strong family values? Is this an atmosphere of faith? Is this a loving, embracing, all-encompassing kind of a brand? So you first need to kind of think about who are you personally and what is the personality of your brand? What separates you from the competition? You have great workouts, they have great workouts. You probably offer accountability in a community, they offer accountability in a community. You probably both offer nutrition, right? You guys offer the same service. So what makes you different? It's personal branding. And that's how you can really tap into and unleash the power of social media marketing. When most gym owners go to their social media, they tend to spend a lot of time teaching because this is where we feel the most comfortable. We are teachers, right? We want to share what we know. We want to educate people. But in reality, this should only be about 20% of the content that you're creating. The content that's performing the best right now is personal branding type content. So if you look at some of the big influencers that have emerged in the last one to two years, most of their content is about them personally. It's not about the products or services that they are selling. What happens is people go to their profile, they learn more about the products or services, but that's not what immediately attracts someone to them gets them to engage with their content or to follow them, right? It's that personal branding. So showcasing who you are and thus attracting other people who are like you. So 70% of the content that you should create on social media should be personal branding. Again, the first thing you need to do is get uber clear on who do you help and how do you help them. Every single one of you watching this video has a community at your gym, but just saying you have an awesome community literally tells me nothing about the people you serve or what it's like to work out there. I have another video on my channel that's all about branding you can go back and watch that for more information on this, but you want to think about again, who it is that you help. So what I always hear from gym owners is I help women 25 to 55 lose weight. Well, guess what? So does every other gym. So the first step to personal branding is getting clear on the person that you serve and then creating specific content that is going to show the viewer that you are like them. You have the same values as them. You like to do the same things that they do. You're somebody that they would wanna hang out with. They would wanna spend time with. That's how you elevate your brand. That's how you separate yourself from the competition. I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, I saw your ad, but then I kept seeing you again and again. Every time I opened up Facebook, eventually I decided to give you a try. And this is the power of branding. This other branding is gonna help elevate your ads. It's gonna attract better quality people who are ready to pay you what you're worth. So now that we understand the type of content that you should be creating, 
Let's go into the nitty gritty of how you're gonna do that. The majority of your clients don't need more how-to videos. There are millions of videos that explain how to work out, that explain what to eat, that talks about different diets or meal plans or hacks. Your clients don't need more information, they need to be inspired. Somebody will buy from you because they connect with you, because they think that you understand them, because they like you, they're drawn to you, they want to embody some of who you are. And you don't do this by teaching, you do this by showcasing who you are what you're like, what it's like to be a member of your gym. So if you want to elevate your gym, if you wanna stand out from the competition, if you're sick of Facebook ads not converting, you need to develop a personal brand content strategy that showcases who you are and how you help people and focuses less on teaching. I'll end this video with going back to how we started, which is talking about celebrities. Why do celebrity endorsements work? Because we love celebrities. We idolize celebrities. We want a little piece of their lifestyle. Whether this is having a luxurious lifestyle, whether this is being beautiful or popular or loved or whatever it is. And so when a celebrity endorses a product or a service, what is really happening is the audience is saying, hey, if I use this product or service, I'm gonna be a little bit more like this celebrity. So if you want to unleash the power of social media marketing inside of your gym, you need to create that brand, that personality that people are drawn to that they want to be a part of. All right, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you back in another video with more tips to grow and scale your gym.